What's up guys, Vincent is here. Today I'm going to have a look to the rhythms inside Roland Phantom and then I'm going to show you how to modify rhythms inside Roland and then I'm going to record the rhythms as a MIDI file in my DAW. So let's begin. First, press Rhythm Pattern. On your screen, you're gonna see the rhythms here, so you may start with the intro or you may go for verse 1 or verse 2 or you may want to adjust the tempo or you may want to change the rhythm so click here, press enter and with this knob you can modify the rhythm Or you may want to change the kit. So press here, press enter, go for different kits. So once you come up with something really good, press stop and go for recording. Oh, not for recording, sorry. You may first save it as a pattern so press pattern and then go to your screen you will see this page make sure you are on zoom 10 for some reason Roland put rhythms on zoom 10 only so you may select any of this and uh, start your recording now it's time to record press record as you can see, it's a new record. You may press greet here, adjust it, uh, put it like greet, press OK. Adjust your length, it's up to you, one, two, or three, or four, I put it two. Don't forget to activate rhythm synth, and you're good to record. So press play. Perfect. So, as you can see, we record that rhythm here on the first, on A line, in Zoom 10. So, once you... Good. Now it's time to send or modify this rhythm. First, let's modify it. Here, you may press Edit press piano roll as you can see here you will see the rhythms here and you can adjust the size with this knobs and if you like to modify something you may click move it anywhere it's up to you if you want to add something if you want to change it's so easy and accessible and uh, Okay, let's listen to it. Okay, now we're good to go. Let's have a look to Cubase. Here on Cubase, um, I'm going to uh, bring a MIDI line so let's add an instrument I will bring a groove agent which is a rhythm VST I call it L1 add a track so boom we have it here now let's select some rhythm okay let's go for uh, a rock or a pop or something okay let's try now once you play the rhythm on your Roland you would see rhythm twice that means one sounds comes out of Roland kit 
and the other sounds gonna comes out of the VST kit. So in order to avoid this, you must change the setting in Roland. So let's go to Roland first. Here, exit, go to menu, go to system, go to sound, local switch should be turned off. Make sure it's turned off. Then you will hear only the sounds comes out of your VST. Let's exit. Let's go back to your pattern. So we have our rhythm here. Once we play, you will see the sound coming out of the coming out of the VST is different from what we had on Roland. Uh, it's mainly because of the it's mainly because of the kit and also the velocity. So once you send a rhythm from Phantom to your DAW, eh, I do suggest you to modify the velocity. Let's record something. Okay. I hit play on Roland. So we got the signal and the MIDI here. Okay, we're good. Double click on the MIDI file so you will see all the rhythms here and you may modify them in Cubase. Uh, it's up to you. Just uh, for your information, make sure the tempo on your DAW uh, exactly the same as the tempo on your Roland once you want to record and send rhythms to uh, your DAW. And I do suggest you to modify the velocities. As you can see, all these rhythms are uh, at the highest level, so it's not good, honestly. So I do suggest you to play with them and uh, adjust the velocity. And uh, that's it, guys. And uh, I hope that will be helpful for you. I'll see you next time. Bye.